On the north shore of Oahu, there is a highly exclusive club of wave riders that has no name. Although it costs nothing to join, it demands some heavy dues and has very tough admission standards. How tough? For starters, you need to be local. And not just local, but local local. Second, you need to rip in all sizes, in all conditions, and be accepted as an equal into this elite group of North Shore power brokers. So, who are the boys? We asked John Shimuka for a roll call. The boys are guys like Johnny Boy, Dane, Titus, Michael and Derrico, of course. Easy. And uh, just, you know, guys who uh, are respected on the North Shore are, are those, those are the guys that I would call the boys, you know. There's a lot of other local guys who try and come out and, and, and uh, you know, claim their ground, but it's already been claimed. And in the hyper-competitive North Shore scene, if you expect to claim some waves for your own, you need to possess a self-confident, go-for-it attitude. That means commitment. That means never backing off in or out of the water. That means being bad. We want to be bad in a good way, in a positive way. We don't want to be bad in um, any negative way. So yeah, it's bad in a good way, in a positive way, and have fun. Johnny Boy Gomes' aggressive, take no prisoner style of surfing perhaps best exemplifies this attitude. Yet being bad doesn't necessarily mean being unfriendly to outsiders, according to Dane, the final word on Aloha. Aloha is a welcome and a, and a really soft welcome. Uh, we welcome the surfers just coming here and surfing with us, you know, but when it comes down to competing, you know, every competitor is a competitor and, and that's just the way it is. Everyone, everybody wants to experience Hawaii and the North Shore. That's what it's all about. Hey, like I said before, I'm a local, you know, I just go. I don't see any crowd. I don't see anybody behind me, you know. Just a bunch of guys that have um, big egos, lots of guts, um, and just surf. Not necessarily good, but they take off. And there's a difference between guys that take off and guys that surf good. And a lot of these guys just take off, as far as I'm concerned. If the boys seem fiercely territorial about their turf, it's because they feel the need to hold on to the little corner of Hawaii they've carved out for themselves. Over the years, Hawaiians have seen their island overrun by outsiders, and the boys feel they are simply standing up for what is rightfully theirs, preserving a vital link of native Hawaiian heritage. We try to like to keep our spots to ourselves and not try to expose too much of the island because, um, like I said, it's getting really crowded there. We like to save our surfing spots for the younger generations coming up. You know? We not try to exploit the spots as much as possible. For better or worse, Hawaiian kids look up to the boys the same way mainland inner city kids idolize pro basketball stars. The local kids see surfing as a quick ticket out of the island ghettos. But all the fame and sponsorships are secondary. The fact that these wave warriors are the premier surfers in the most demanding and dangerous wave arena in the world. If environment determines character, then the boys are definitely well suited to the dynamic, unpredictable nature of the North Shore. There's places for the softies and there's places for the boys, you know. That's what the North Shore's about. It has its, uh, it has its ups and downs. It's unreal here. I love it. I love it.
So if you come to play the North Shore game this winter, make sure you bring large amounts of stoke, skill, and respect. And never forget for a second who has the real home field advantage.